Hi everyone, welcome back to Vedic Life Coaching. Thank you so much for joining me and welcome to another Astro Chat episode. Today we are taking a look at the truth. When is the truth coming out? Now you and I know the truth. Many of us on this channel, we know the truth. We know that we're not getting the full story from the media, are we? And I think I'm going to call this episode Truth Coming Out Mid-March 2022 onwards. I'll put a question mark because I'm not 100% sure myself, but I have a theory. And those of you who have been with me for a while, you know that I have talked about this. I think I've talked about this in two or three videos, but I have a theory that the truth has been suppressed because Ketu has been in Scorpio. And Ketu, as we know, is a uh, suppression energy and Scorpio as we know contains the secrets of the rich and the powerful and you know the, the controllers of large assets and all that kind of thing right so we know that we haven't been told the truth and I think for the last year and a half it has been suppressed and it has been kept from us now, what I suspect, and I've said this on the channel before, is that as soon as Rahu Ketu axis shifts, so we're talking mid-March onwards, and I did a video about that, if you missed your mini report, if you missed your personal breakdown of your Rahu Ketu axis for your sign, you can check that above. Uh, but I did look at even collectively how that Rahu Ketu axis shift is going to impact all of us. And I'm pretty sure in that video as well, one of the things I mentioned was, you know, the suppression energy on the secrets will come off. OK, and this could be good news for all of us who want to see truth revealed, who want to see, you know, some, some justice happen in this world. It's been a while and we haven't been able to see justice because, you know, as well, we've had Jupiter in Capricorn, we've got Jupiter. Well, he's been in Aquarius and that's been better. There have been protests. Justice is starting to appear here on the world again. And you'll see we're going to unite even more when Jupiter goes into Pisces. That's going to be wonderful. Okay, more unity. You know, Jupiter's getting back to his place of exaltation, which is Cancer. He's making his way. So that's good. But we have this situation where we don't know what's going on. Now, I was on Facebook. I don't really go on Facebook very much. It's not a platform that I'm, I connect with or enjoy very much. But I dip in there because a couple of friends still email me on there. And I saw this article and I'm going to put it on the screen. And I'm not going to read out the terms, but there is a particular large company that has, it seems there's quite a lot of activity in their shares. Okay, now is this piece of news correct? Okay, and I did a Google search because I thought, oh, that's an interesting bit of news. So I kept it, dragged it onto my desktop. Then I did a quick Google search to check and I'll put that Google search on the screen. You can have a look and you can see that the first two items of news there are showing fact check, you know, posts are misleading on social media. You know, there's no link between this company and the deleted Twitter feed and, you know, the, the selling of shares. OK, so these two fact check style items made me think of Rahu in Taurus. And it did make me wonder, you know, when Rahu leaves Taurus and Rahu is this foreign thing and um, Taurus is speech. So we have these foreign restrictions and censorship and fact checking and all this going on. So, I mean, when Rahu moves out of Taurus, is that going to shift? You know, so we're going to have a little bit more truth in that regard as well. Uh, we're not going to have, you know, kind of like, and yeah, I'm kind of visualizing something around our neck, like you can't speak, all this kind of thing. So maybe that's going to clear as well. I don't know. But let's take a look. Let's dig further. So I looked at the first two links. They seem to say, oh, no, 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 this is all fake news. OK, let's take a look at Forbes. OK, Forbes is credible, right? Everybody loves Forbes. It's big. Even the business people love Forbes. So I went and had a look there. And yeah, sure enough, you have a read of this article and I'll put the link below so that you'll be able to read it, too. I mean, this is pretty clear 
that a lot of the, as it says here, firms, top executives, um, you know, are, are, are leaving, right? They're selling their shares. They really are doing that. If we take a look at NPR, now I'll put the article on the screen as well. Uh, I read this article too, and this seems to confirm that, and I'm going to read this out. Stock sales worth tens of millions. So since June 1, NPR has found company executives have sold roughly $90 million worth of Moderna stock. Ooh, I just mentioned the company name. Doesn't matter. I don't think it matters. I don't think I'll be, I have been racked on the knuckles one time. That's okay. Anyway, I find this all very interesting because, you know, we've got a, a, a couple of, sources saying, oh, fake news, don't believe it. And if, it, if it's a fact check organization, I don't trust that either at all. Straight away, I'm like, oh, I have a problem with that as well. So very difficult what to believe, what to trust. We can trust just the raw figures. So I'll put that up on the screen as well. This particular company that I've been referring to, but not referring to, if we have a look at their share price, you'll see that you know, 10 September 2021, uh, you know, share price was doing great for 49 US dollars per share. It's now down to, as we see up there in the top left corner of this diagram, 136. Clearly, in the space of a few short months, the price has really taken quite a tumble. And some would even call it a crash, which is what Forbes called it. Okay. So I think this is very, very interesting. And the reason I bring all of this up is because when we look at the astrology, which is what I look at, and that's what I know about, from mid-March onwards for 1.5 years, truth can come out. Now, I'm not saying that mid-March onwards, the truth is immediately gonna come out. It might, you know, but uh, I, I'm not saying that it will be so soon. But what I am seeing and saying is that for the next 1.5 years, it feels to me like there are no restrictions on truth. And I have been noticing as well, I have been watching channels like Russell Brand. You look at some of his headlines and it's like, wow, he's, he's really going for it at the moment. And you look at JP Sears, JP Sears has been uncensored and Russell Brand has been uncensored and, and some of the things they're saying, and it's just like exploding kind of. And why are they allowed to grow without censorship now? I've also seen a lot of videos by some young people who are just talking about some of the things that happened to them in connection with the products of, you know, the company I just shared and, and things like that. And, and that's just being shared freely on YouTube without censorship. So that's also evidence of this Rahu Ketu shift that's coming, that I think the restrictions on speech are going to be far less and more truth is going to be able to come out. And yeah, I think some of this could be, well, for, for some people, it, it's, going to be, it's going to be shocking, certainly. Um, when we've got Rahu moving into Pisces, okay, that's another thing. So there'll, there'll be even more, there'll be, I believe, a pursuit of secrets and, and more things coming to light even maybe. So that's November 2023 onwards. But I've also got a note here on my screen, while there might be a shakeup of money markets mid-March onwards, some people are talking about that and, and do, I do find that interesting. But what I want to say there is I think when it comes to money and the shifts that are happening around money, I think those are going to be positive in nature. And I'm really glad I watched that one and a half hours interview with Ray Dalio because he talked about monies, plural. He talked about, yeah, we're going to have cash, we're going to have gold, we're going to have silver, we're going to have stock market, we're going to have, yes, NFTs and digital currencies and all these things. And I've heard that from some people in the spiritual and truther community as well. Some of them saying that, you know, like situations, for example, in war, like what's been happening in Europe, a lot of those people have been able to move money about thanks to cryptocurrencies. 
and they've been able to hang on to their money and they've been able to do things because of cryptocurrencies. So even if banks or governments are out of action, we have something that is decentralized and not controlled by one entity. So all these things are really interesting. And I just wanted to add in that little part at the end there about money to say <clears throat> that I, you know, while there might be shakeups and downturns and crashes like what we've just seen with that company, sure, that kind of thing will happen. But I think overall, the changes that are going to be brought in, uh, I do think they're going to be new earth in nature. I do think they're going to be positive. And, you know, I've, I've been hearing some, some good things. The other thing I also want to say is that with this Rahu Ketu shift, we're also going to see that some of the alternative media people, some of them haven't been telling us the truth either. So we're up for some really interesting times. And I just thought I would bring all of that up. We're at the 11 minute mark. Guys, I think I'll leave it there. I just wanted to do a very brief video today just to check in, just to say hello, really. So I hope this has been a good little a quick video for you today and I look forward to seeing you next time.